just media. So I've been seeing it all on today. And I seen some people say it's a rumor, but hey, according to Box News 24, Terrence Crawford has been stripped of the IBF belt at welterweight. Jerron Boots Ennis is the new champion. Um, Terrence Crawford had all four belts, WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO. And he's supposed to do a rematch against Earl Spence. And they've been going back and forth. I mean, you had rumors that it was at 147, but then they both said they would fight at 154. And the fight was supposed to originally rumored to happen in December, but that's not happening because Showtime is no longer going to be airing fights after uh, I believe this month. This month or next month, one of the two. And you know, Terrence Crawford, he got all these belts on hold and I guess the IBF said, well, shoot, since y'all finna fight at 154, we're going to take you, we're going to take that, uh, that 147 IBF belt. And now they gave it to Jerron Boots Ennis. So a couple of things. Number one, let me shout out the Boots. Uh, I don't think Terrence Crawford duck Boots. Terrence Crawford is only going to fight people like a Earl Spence or a uh, Jermel Charlo for Undisputed or several belts. I mean... Well, Boots, he really don't have nothing to gain from it, honestly. Boots need to be fighting people like Keith Thurman or other people that's going to stay at 147. And, you know, like I said, Boots, you know, hey, you finally, you, you're a world champion. And I just wonder now, are people going to, met, going to make fun of Boots like they did with David Haney and call him the email champion and he's not a real champion? And, and or is people just going to have that smoke for David Haney? And I don't know. I mean, Terrence Crawford, he don't he don't really need those belts. There's too many belts on top of that in this in this in this sport of boxing. But he don't need that IBF belt. I mean, it makes no sense. I personally think he should just go ahead and forfeit all the belts. And if I remember when he was undisputed champion at 140, 140 pounds, I one of them belts stripped him. I can't remember. If it was the, I can't remember which belt. It was either IBF or maybe WBO. If y'all remember, put it in, in the in the chat. But as soon as he won all the belts, they were trying to make him fight mandatories and everything. Then he ended up giving up the belts and moving to heavy heavyweight, welterweight. I think it was IBF champion actually, IBF belt I believe. So, I mean, this hey, I. I ain't mad at it. I mean, if they're gonna fight at 154, there's no reason for him to hold on to those belts anyway. Let some of the neat some of the, the young guys fight for him. Maybe Keith Thurman and Boots Ennis can fight for the IBF belt at 147. And it'd be Boots' first title defending the belt. But yeah, this is a, a quick, my quick thought on it. I'll go more in detail as the story comes out. What y'all think?